smiles. They really are everything in your world. How do you feel when the sun doesn't shine? The fact is it does all the time, except at night time. Of the clouds, the sky is blue, sun is warm, and shine brightly. Wake up, my friend. It's time to get a clue. How you feel is up to you. You bring the sunshine into your world with your love and your smiles. Your goodness is unfurled. Why would you choose to live any other way? You can turn around even the darkest day. A smile will instantly change how you feel. And how you feel is all that makes your world real. Smile, stand. Up tall, sit up straight, your thoughts and emotions run your life. You will undetermine whether you thrive or choose to live in strife. Choose to live full out. Give yourself the choice, it's time to move forward. Stand up and shout. If you're also standing tall, sitting up straight, notice how your whole body gets lighter. The power of the smile is everything. Now, I'm going to do something I don't usually do. I'm going to share an interesting day that I had recently. I was having work done at my house. I need to be out of my home for at least four hours. So I thought, well, there's a path that I've started to walk downtown. So I went downtown, started on the path, and hit a literal roadblock. It was under construction. So, okay, that avenue was close to me. But I've got four hours I have to pass. I like to be outdoors. What can I do? So I looked around for a bit, and I happened to be downtown where these... It's a park, and there are ponds at this park. So I said, I'll walk along the water. And I walked along the water, and there was a gorgeous garden. So I looked real closely, I mean real, real closely, at the beautiful blossoms that were in that garden, and saw some cool insects in them, and then looked out on the water. And there was this really neat boat that I'd never seen before, and it was a workman clearing plants from the pond. Because lichen is one thing covering the lake. But these were plants, and they weren't even water lilies. And they were choking off the pond. And it was so cool to just watch this gentleman going up and down ever so slowly and aiming for the plants. And I like to know how things work. So I was watching how the plants went up the conveyor belt and figuring out where they went and how the water <laughs> went back. Anyway, enough of that. So that took up some time. And then I thought, you know what? It's a gorgeous day. I've got my food with me. I'm going to find a nice place to sit and have a picnic. So further along the pond, I found a beautiful park bench, all cozy and private, and right there at the water's edge. I enjoyed my food. Well, now it's kind of getting warm, so I thought, well, I'm going to go in the library. There are a couple of authors whose books I'd really like to find and read, and they're popular authors. I figured, surely the library, even though it's tiny, it's going to have exactly 
something of interest by these guys. So I go in the library, look up the numbers, go to the shelf, not even one book. Prolific authors, not even one of their books was on the shelf. So I thought, okay, what am I going to do now? I found a place just to sit down and relax. Now usually I go into the library, get what I need and leave. I never really just sat down. I happened to sit down right next to the atlases and the maps. It hadn't occurred to me to go to the library. Since I moved to my new home over a year ago, I've been wanting one of those big books that I used to have back before GPS systems where you have individual pages of detailed maps and the front page has the whole perspective of the whole area and how everything fits together. And I've been looking for one of these and the company I used to use had gone out of business and here was exactly what I wanted. And when I finished looking through there and finally, oh, so that's how everything fits together where I live now. I look on the shelf next to that and there's an atlas of galaxies i love nature and everything about it and this was all about the stars and the galaxies and the constellations let's just say it was a completely incredible day because i kept looking for something that was fun even though some avenues i had originally planned didn't quite work out now, one other thing I did want to mention, I was walking around the pond. It's a very popular place to walk because it's so beautiful, as you might imagine. And I smile because, hey, I feel good when I smile, literally. And if you're smiling now, you'll feel good too and notice the difference. Anyway, I was smiling and four out of ten people I walked by looked at me and smiled back and met my good morning with a good morning or at least a hi. But you know what the other six people did? They walked by like they were in a trance. Didn't even look at me or acknowledge me. They not only weren't smiling, they were grimacing. Looked kind of angry. It's like, okay, how does that make you feel? Why would you choose to lower your frequency to have bad chemicals running in your body? Anyway, smile is everything. And when you go over and click the link below this video, I have instructions for you to instantly change a not feeling good moment into a feel good, happy moment. You know, it's kind of, you feel like, oh, I got up on the wrong side of the bed today. Well, there's no such thing. You're always in charge of how you feel. And when you click this link, I give you the gift of the exact instructions for turning around your day. I'm Allie Bierman. You can find me at yourrelationshipintelligence.com.